Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Live a Live with me, Voltage McGammer. Yes, I'm starting back up here. Because I did not show the optimal way to kill him, and by optimal I mean I kept the frying pan but deployed all traps. It's not complete if I don't show all three. And so here we go, number three. I've already read all this stuff, so I really just picked a bad time to start. Still, it's not quite as lame as him being out here alone, and it's not quite as impressive as him being out here with 15 fellows, but... What can you do? When you're short-handed, you're short-handed. But he still has enough hands to use the Gatling gun. Okay, I'm gonna go over here, and I'm going to use the Molotov cocktail, right there. Well, that was actually rather effective. Super effective, in fact. Oh, come on. But that was just kind of lame. Oh, well. Stupid rock. Well, now it starts to get really familiar. as he continues to repeat the same abilities over and over again. And I repeat the same abilities over and over again. So yeah, something about Odeo's hair. I kind of thought it was just him being bald with a hat, but then recently it was pointed out to me that he has extremely crazy hair. And by recently, I mean just because he turned around like this. And now as we get to finish this fight, looking at his backside as he hurts nothing but Mad Dog. This is gonna be great! Yeah, that's right. Shoot him in the back, kid, yellow boy! Hmm, I can still survive two hits before I die, probably. Because he's always going to do is hit Mad Dog now, because he turned that way. Oh, this is bad. Well, that's good. Yay, cigar time! Yay, power! And he hurts me for less. This is all great! Just remember, smoking is only good for your health in the Wild West. Don't do it, kids! I didn't know who was saying that, so I didn't voice it. We did it indeed. All of us. Or rather, just the two of us. You and me, bad dog. Wait, what? What? what is happening to him? Why did he turn into a horse? A horse? Dio turned into a horse? Uh, I don't know either, Mad Dog. I've heard about this. When the Seventh was annihilated by the Allied Sioux and Chinese Cheyenne forces, they only spared a single horse. It, it still doesn't make any sense. All the soldiers hanging in despair had gathered into that horse. That that doesn't make any sense. That could very well be. N no, no, it couldn't. Thanks, kid. Uh, I mean, stranger. I wouldn't celebrate just yet. Oh, come on, mad dog. We still have unfinished business. Yeah. Stop it, you two! Don't you just beat the beer together? Quit your yapping. This is between him and me. Rock in. Yeah.
Uh, why did it have to be this way? Tumbleweed number four. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And now, to be a coward. <laughs> we'll meet again. And so Mad Dog gets to live another day. And so we get to live another day. You leaving? Yeah. How can we ever thank you? Mister. Thank you. Also, I have a request. Is it not that bad you keep it? It don't mean anything. I feel like I've redeemed myself. Badger now. Wait! There's... There's something we need to apologize to you about. Oh? What would that be? Truth is, we don't have any gold what? left. Will you forgive us? Yeah. What? Huh? You folks reminded me how to protect the weak. Kid. Right on cue. Well done, kid. And so he rides off. I see. Now I remember. Known throughout the West for his arm, fast as lightning. Someone is always out to challenge him to a duel. Eventually, it got so bad that his town was attacked by an entire band of outlaws. He couldn't do anything, so he put a price on his own head and wandered the desert in search of a place to die. What? Mister. Kid! Badass Kid! The Invincible Gunman, Badass Kid! And so, we ride off, into the sunset. Or it would be a sunset if they colored the sky slightly differently. Instead, we ride off, into the noon. Yeah, it doesn't sound nearly as impressive. Oh well. At least we're riding off, and wandering. Yes, yes, you see where it comes in now? Wandering. I wonder why it's showing off this place now. Is it just showing them going through their daily lives now, or is it highlighting places where good loot was? I don't think that's it. I think it's just going about their daily lives now. So, the guy was responsible for his own town's death, apparently, because other people were stupid and wanted to die to him. Well, I guess he is that much of a badass. And I guess putting a $5,000 bounty on- Number 5! A $5,000 bounty on your head would- probably get, I don't know, more honorable of a death than shooting yourself? I don't know. Oh well, was a good chapter. I 
wonder what happened to Billy's mom. Ah, Billy. It's like he had a poster of his hero up on his wall the entire time. Oh well, that's how things were in the Wild West. I really like this music. Sad that this has devolved into what country is today. So we meet again! Oh, come on, not again! <laughs> Inseparable to the end, huh? This time we finish. Oh, really? Really? We're going through this again? This holes? <laughs> it's to you. Oh, come on. You and I get along mighty fine. Really now? Draw, kid! Seriously. We're doing this. You're making this happen. Really? Why are you so much weaker when I fight you? It's like you're not getting any bonuses from your weapons. Oh wait, you aren't. Blast! Why don't I ever- why don't you ever kill me? Wait! Yeah! You! You shot the reins again! Indeed. Wait! Ah! Dio! Perfect end! And so that does it for the cowboy chapter. Yay! Let's see, where are we now? Oh, we only have three chapters left. Oh no, that means this is the next chronologically. No! A fierce youth has entered a global fighting tournament to experience and learn the combat styles of the world. He will see many unique techniques, and he will use them to achieve the ultimate goal. The title of The Strongest in the World! Is this okay? Ah! Once, I told everyone in the gym my dream. Strongest on Earth. Yeah, I'm not bothering changing his voice. It, it's just, it, no. I, nobody likes this guy. Nobody. Today is the day that my journey begins. Yes, I'm making him have that voice. My journey to stand on top of the world. To learn all the fighting skills of every martial art. I must be adopted. I'm aware he is Japanese. I'm making him Russian or something. If I do not, I will not survive. Nobody has attempted anything like this. I am the first. I'm pretty sure somebody has before, man. I will let my fist do the talking. I will learn much from each fighter. And with each battle, I will grow stronger. Many people do that. It's called experience. You don't have it. Let the games begin. Bring it on! Ah. Next time on Let's Play Live a Live with me, Voltage Big Hammer. I named this fool. Later, wrestlers. Ah.